What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a super, super cool knife to show you. You've already seen it, just not in this form. This is my brand new Gen 6 uh, DLT Trading Exclusive XM18 3.5 inch black stonewashed DLC swedge spear in M390. <laughs> Jeez, that's a mouthful. But I've upgraded it with uh, factory green anodized hardware. Uh, the pivot the scale screws, the um, the uh, standoffs, and the Chicago screws that hold the screws in from the back, and the lock bar stabilizer. Um, I've also outfitted it with some new, um, a new way uh, uh, um, filler tab, geez, and a pocket clip. Now, I, I, you know, thought about, you know, should I, should I get a green um, uh, filler tab and and pocket clip, you know, to to kind of go with the same route as the uh, ZT0392 black green? And I thought, no, you know, I'm going to kind of do my own thing here. And because the filler tab and pocket clip, as far as I I could tell online, were sold out everywhere, and I I just couldn't find them. And I would have had to uh, go the secondary market route to get what I wanted. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do my own thing and get these. I also got some nice black screws. Uh, to go with the uh, pocket clip back here. My phone is having a hard time wanting to focus. But anyways, those screws are black instead of the um, the factory satin that, that they normally come with. Uh, so really, really happy with this. I mean, this, this uh, truly ended up exactly what I wanted. And it's a build that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. You know, you've all seen my other Gen 6 that's all monochromatic stone washed. Uh, it's a uh, DLT um, no-choil Spanto. M390 um, with the stonewash textured titanium scale. So I thought I'd do something different. There's another really cool thing about this particular one. If we uh, can look inside here, if you can see that front scale on the inside has actually been very generously milled out, which is a new thing that Hinder is doing with some of his titanium scales. By the way, if I haven't mentioned, I did upgrade the uh, front scale on this guy to a black wash, or I'm sorry, not a black wash, a stonewash DLC titanium scale smooth to match the um, uh, frame and blade um, but uh, this new scale has been very generously milled so instead of the six and a half six point seven ounces that uh, I would normally expect from a full titanium XM18 uh, this guy actually feels like it weighs less than my ZT0562 Ti um, and that's because um, you know, that you still, you still have this nice thickness back here, but there's a lot of weight that's been taken out of the blade and there's a lot of weight that's been taken out of the scale from that milling. Uh, so this guy honestly feels like it weighs less than five and a half ounces, which is amazing for a, um, a, uh, XM18. Uh, and I still have that awesome, uh, flipping action, that awesome, uh, gen six, uh, action that I've come to to really love with these newer ones. Uh, even after the installation of the scale, I still have the exact same lockup I had when I bought it. It's about about splitting the difference on that um, steel lock bar insert, about 35% overall, and the blade also centered back up just perfectly, absolutely perfectly. I mean, I have zero complaints. That's what's nice about these Gen 6s, and I said it in my Gen 6 video. Um, everything is made to fit perfectly. Um, I've never had an issue with any, any fitment or anything like that. So I, I'm just really impressed with this all the way around. Um, there is a story as to why I built it exactly like this. And by the way, I'm fully aware some of you are just going to hate this and think it's the ugliest thing in the whole world. And that's totally fine. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't like it. Um, but I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of in line with Dr. Frunky on, on the color setups that he likes. Uh, he likes black and green and I think, I think he's got great taste. Um, and, uh, I kind of like the, the black and green look too. So on the off chance that, uh, Mr. Frunky sees this, um, I think this is a, an XM18 that he might like, but anyways, here's why I ended up with this. The ZT0392 series was very, very attractive to me back before Hinderer added bearings, uh, to their XM18 line or the triway pivot system, because those factory customs were being sold for about the same price as an XM18, a little bit less, but you were getting a full titanium setup um, with a, the Rick Hinderer look and feel, an actual Rick Hinderer in-house uh, hardware. Um, but you were also getting bearings and a steel lock bar insert, and you were getting CTS-204P blade steel, which is um, essentially Carpenter's version of M390 or 20CV. So naturally as a Hinderer fan, I thought that is like the ultimate knife and it'll cost me way less than a full tie Hinderer. This is way back before I bought my first full titanium Hinderer. And, um, so I lusted after it for a really long time and, uh, years went by and, um, 
I, you know, I ended up with, I ended up actually getting my full tie XM18, but I still wanted that black and green because green is a difficult color to achieve, apparently, um, on, uh, you know, the scale of uh, different colors that um, can be achieved through anodizing. So it was weird and it was different. It was cool. And there was like, no, you know, that, that hardware was just not something that was available to hinderer fans or anybody. You had to get that knife essentially, unless you wanted to send parts off to have them custom anodized through somebody else. So I wanted that thing. And, uh, I got the old black version of the O, uh, O392, um, first. And then I finally tracked down a, you know, a advertised as mint condition, um, 0392 black green for exactly the right price, uh, or a good price, you know, in, in, in my eyes. And, uh, the guy said, you know, it's perfect. Every it's completely unused. It's a fairly low serial number. So I was super excited, ordered it. Um, it, it finally got to my house. Uh, I opened it up. It looked perfect, had perfect centering, uh, fired it out, locked out hard, had early solid lockup, you know, just just absolutely beautiful all the way around. And I was so excited. And I was like, I, you know, I finally have my perfect black green 0392. And then I went to shut it right there. It rattled. I could shake it like this and it rattled. What that was, was detent lash. Um, whether it came that way from the factory or just from being flipped a million times, I don't know, but the detent ball actually had play within that detent hole. So the blade as you know, I could do this and that blade would click, 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 click up and down in the closed position. And that bothered me. And I know that I'm going to get some eye rolls from that because to a lot of people, that's something that doesn't really matter. And truthfully, the blade, I'm not saying the blade would not have held in place in the closed position uh, with that being the case, but it, it bothered me because that wasn't going to be a knife that I was going to use. That was something I had lusted after for a long time and uh, paid a lot of money for to get a perfect version in my eyes or one that I thought was perfect. And it bothered me. So long story short, that knife went back and it put a sour taste in my mouth. And uh, from that point forward, I decided when I get the opportunity, I'm going to build an XM18 the way that that 0392 or the way that I expected that 0392 to be. I wanted it to be perfect. When the Gen 6s came out, I thought, amazing, you know, as soon as I get this opportunity, I'm going to try. Um, finally, uh, uh, the, you know, the green hardware and this this um, M390 blade, you know, I got the blade that I wanted, the finish that I wanted. Um everything, you know, I know the blade shape's not the same, but this is just a cool blade shape. I couldn't pass it up. I got it exactly the way that I wanted it. And I got the hardware on there other than the filler tab and pocket clip. And I got the, the version of it that I wanted. This is my perfect 0392. I had to spend a lot more money on this version uh, to get it exactly the way that I want. But, you know, I'm a collector and, and uh, at, with Rick Hinder knives, the reason I like them so much is because I, I can get what I want. You know, if I really, really want it, you can generally build them exactly the way that you want. And I am so happy with this. This thing just ended up just perfect. I could not be happier. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the, uh, the feel of the action, the ergonomics, you know, there's just, it brings me so much joy. And, um, you know, if this is uh, something that, you know, uh, you, you could never see yourself spending money on, Hey, no problem. No problem. Just in, then just enjoy the video. Uh, just, you know, in terms of something to watch and look at, that's totally fine with me. Uh, but if you are a hinderer fan and this, you know, you appreciate, uh, a uh, hinderer knives, uh, not just for the fact that they're functional tools, but because you can, you can custom create what you want, then, you know, maybe this is more for you than anybody else. Um, but I just really wanted to show this off a little bit. I'm very happy with this. It's such a premium product. And, uh, I, I, I'm just filled with joy for this guy right now. Um, I've got two really cool knives coming to the channel, um, between uh, now and the end of the week. Um, so definitely keep your eyes out for those. I think that they're, they're, video, they're knives that should have been on this channel a long time ago and just for whatever reason weren't. So, um, I, I hope you guys, you know, kind of, um, uh, watch out for those and, and enjoy them when they are uploaded. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, then please leave a like. And if you'd like to check out my other content, then uh, please do. I've got lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. Um, and, uh, you know, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at uh, metal underscore complex with the exact same logo. But um, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day.